This is the Apple Watch Series 7, and we're entering a new year. It's 2022 now, and there's already rumors and such coming out for the next generation Apple Watches for the both, or actually I should say, for three new Apple Watches, the SE, the Series 8, and a potential rugged Apple Watch. We're gonna go ahead and cover all that and more in this video. So, the new generation Apple Watch SE, this device typically, or any SE model, like including the iPhone SE usually gets unveiled during the spring keynote of Apple and that's coming up in a couple of months actually and usually around this time frame is when we actually will see a more budget version of some popular Apple devices like the iPhone SE but in our case we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Apple Watch SE the SE 2 or whatever Apple wants to call it and things we should expect for the new upcoming SE is some new hardware like the always on display because in case you didn't know the current SE does not have the always on display capabilities but it does have the same modern processor chipset inside there is a possibility we could see the apple watch se finally get receive the new body redesign that the series 7 received last year on the new se is a possibility and we may see the new color choices available because space gray is discontinued now in the series 7 lineup that got replaced with the new midnight color and i really do like this color because this actually is a black color it's not like a gray off gray color or anything like that but even if we don't see a new body redesign for the new se apple watch i'm sure it'll still look really awesome with that previous design very modern but with that new midnight color choice and other nifty things we could see in the new upcoming se apple watch is the stronger glass design to make the screen much more durable at least but in terms of the rumors for the se that's basically all we got now the series 8 however this is really interesting so currently the series 7 didn't really receive that much internal upgrades unfortunately all we really got internally is just the ability to charge faster than the previous series 6 still carry on the previous health centers that was found in the series 6 to the series 7 all we really got was just a new body redesign look as well as those new color body choices to choose from so for the series 8 we should still see the new body carry from the series 7 to the series 8 as apple has done in the past typically apple like to fully redesign the apple watch every four to three generations because we didn't see a significant body redesign until the series four so it was the series zero one two and three and then from the series four it was until the series seven was when we saw the next redesign which is what we currently have right now so if we continue that same trend we should see a new redesign apple watch for the series 9 or 10. So the edge design that some leakers and some people have been wanting to see, it's unlikely we're gonna go ahead and see that, but there is something interesting I'm gonna go ahead and cover in just a little bit. For the series eight, it's about time, it's well overdue actually, that we'll finally see a new health sensor get integrated on the series eight, such as the glucose monitoring, but an interesting sensor that has been rumored around lately is a body temperature monitoring. So this is a new sensor that has been le getting leaked all over the internet recently. That will give the Apple Watch the ability to actually monitor your body's temperature, which sounds a lot less complex compared to what Apple and Samsung was trying to do on their wearable, like the wrist glucose monitoring sensor. This has been rumored around for now two years now. There is a small chance we may finally see it on Series 8, but again, crossing our fingers it just seems really slim because that is super complex compared to the body temperature rating that is a possibility because recently apple did file a new patent for the apple watch and that is the removal of the digital crown this removal could be in the works to make room for the new health monitoring sensors like the glucose monitoring or the body temperature rating but nonetheless, a improvement that we've been waiting for like the longest time, it's either a battery increase for the Series 8 Apple Watch or finally a increase in performance compared to the previous generation Apple Watch. Because in case you were unaware, the Series 5, the SE, the Series 6, including the current S, uh, Series 7, the chipset that's found inside internally in these devices actually perform identical which is great which means if you own one of these older apple watches you're not really missing out there's not that much of an increase in performance so you could be perfectly fine with your series 5 or older apple watches but for the series 8 i think it's about time we finally receive a increase in performance 
or at least, again, an increase in battery life. Now, possibly a new series of Apple Watch is also gonna get added this year, and that is the Extreme Apple Watch is what the internet has been naming it. It's been floating all over the internet ever since last year, and what basically it is, is a G-Shock style Apple Watch, perfect for the outdoor enthusiasts. Because of this, we should expect it to carry on the same similar sensors that we find on the Series 7 and possibly the Series 8 on this new Apple Watch. And since it's gonna have a much larger design, a much larger overall body, it, should, it would definitely make sense if Apple actually increased a battery inside that Apple Watch so it could last longer than a typical day because when you're going camping, you're out there for longer than just a single day, obviously. So because of that, once more, it's gonna carry all the same sensors of the Series 8 or the 7 in this new rugged Apple Watch. And the name of this rugged Apple Watch is still is unknown. It could be called the Apple Watch Pro or the Apple Watch Extreme or the Al Apple Watch Outdoor Limited or something. The name can still be anything. But this Apple Watch is very interesting and it should cost slightly more than the standard Series 8 or 7. But in order for this Apple Watch to actually be successful, it needs to have a bigger battery in my opinion. All in all, there you guys have it. That is the rundown of the upcoming smartwatches from Apple that's coming out in the market. Everything from the new generation SE, the Series 8, and the possibility of a much more rugged version Apple Watch hitting the market very soon. If you got some good useful information out of this video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like as those help me out a lot and get subscribed especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you'd like to see over a hundred different things you could do with your Apple Watch like hidden features, tips and tricks, I cover all that in this video over there. And then the video next to that one, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching, take care and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.